So the clock is now revealed. You can see the engraving on the back. Azurus Fromentil Londini fake it. Uh, Azurus Fromentil of London made it. And then the, the pendulum ticking away with the verge escapement behind. You can see the verge escapement now releasing one tooth after the other as each pallet releases and then catches the next tooth as it comes up. And you can see the little impulse that the, the pallet receives to keep the pendulum swinging. Each time the tooth goes by, it gives it a little flick um, to keep the pendulum swinging against the air resistance. I find it fascinating to see a verge operating in slow motion, how it catches and then releases each tooth, the pallet catching and releasing. But watch it, the pendulum actually moves the whole of the escapement back, recoil there, see? And then as it moves forward, the tooth gives a little push flick to keep the pendulum swinging and overcome the air resistance. It's all driven by the spring inside the, the drum here and the change in tension in the, as the spring runs down is taken in by the fusee. So you can see the fusee with the small diameter at this side and the large diameter at this side to compensate for the spring as the spring runs down then the, uh, the gut moves up to the bigger diameter of the fusee to make a constant pull as the spring runs down. And even on this very early clock, there's maintaining power. So that when you wind the clock, the lever here cocks and you can hear it click. And that maintaining power gives power to the, uh, the pendulum so that the pendulum doesn't stop ticking and driving the, the fingers forward, even though the tension is off the spring as it's being wound. There we go, fully wound. So you can see the shutter starting to uh, close after the clock has been wound and it's already now running on the main spring as well. At any moment it'll flick shut and it just looks better than just having a gaping hole. The plates are held with square pillars which were easier to make than uh, complex turned round pillars because Azurus Fromentil was a blacksmith and they could be hammered square. The top pillar here is screwed into place. It may have been damaged and a screw added later, whereas the bottom pillar um, is so well disguised you can't even see it, the rivet place onto the back plate.